Hi, the Berians, and welcome to our market. We are trying to expand our uh, business, and we are starting uh, selling uh, fresh and tasty vegetables and fruits. So maybe you want an eggplant or some carrots, strawberries. No, ah, you're not here for that. Okay, we may have something of your interest. Ah, here it is. We're going to show you how to play Beggies. This is one of our uh, pocket games. You know, lots of fun in the smallest space. And it's a game designed by Jock Kung with art by Roman Kucharski and Alex Santalo. Really nice art. And it's a game for two to four players that lasts about 20 minutes or a little bit less. In Beggies, we're going to make our uh, market stand. Okay. And uh, trying to have uh, the bigger variety of fruits and vegetables and trying to avoid the mice. Let's see how to play Vegas. So if you take a look to the box, you will find like in all our pocket games, the rules and some cards. In Vegas, cards has a backside with the name of the game and in the front, you have six spaces with some of them with goods, strawberries, grapes, uh, bananas, carrots, or mushrooms, and some empty spaces with pallets, boxes, or barrels, and some spaces with uh, mice. Okay, depending on the space, you can have more or less mice. That's well, you will see that. So to start uh, playing the game, just shuffle all the cards together make a deck with the cards looking down and place the top three at the center of the playing zone. Then deal through cards to each player and players have to decide which of the two cards is going to uh, start their market stand. So you take the two cards, you choose one, place it in front of you and you keep the other in your hand. And now we're ready to start playing with baggies. Baggies is played with the players alternating turns until the end of the game that will happen after the eighth turn. So once all players have eight cards in front of them. And in your turn is as easy as that. You have to choose or one of the available cards in the market or the one in your hand. Let's say that we take that one, for example, and then you have to place the card. You can rotate it horizontally or vertically, it doesn't matter. And you have to uh, put it in your market stand or in direct contact with a card already placed, partially or totally, okay, you can choose, or covering part or totally of the card, of at least one of the played cards, okay? So we can put it, for example, that way, covering the mice. And then we have to replace the card. Okay, it will be the same if we have played the one from our hand. Let's pretend that we're playing that one, covering that, for example. We take a new one. And once we have done that, it's the next player turn. And you will continue that way until all players have played uh, eight turns. So each player will have eight cards in front of them. And then it's time to check uh, for the final score. So for the final score, each player must check uh, their bigger group of the same good uh, in their stands. Uh, to check the bigger group is just the same good that are in direct contact. You cannot count in diagonal, okay? For example, here we have four strawberries. That's our bigger group. So strawberries is going to be our, our, uh, our most valuable uh, good. In this case, you have grapes and you have bananas. It could happen that two players have the same kind of good, okay, as a most popular good. Uh, if that's the case, you will score just once for the most popular, for that kind of good, okay? And it could happen also that you have two, uh, two groups of the same size of different goods. Let's pretend we have four strawberries and let's say that we had also four, uh, four mushrooms. It's up to you to choose which uh, good is going to be your most valuable good. Once we have that, okay, we have strawberries, bananas, and grapes. 
all players will score for those goods. How? Just multiplying the size of your bigger group of that uh, good, uh, strawberries in our case, for strawberries, by the number of different groups of that good. And you are going to make that for all the most uh, special goods of each player. Let's say, uh, with the example it will be easier. We have strawberries, we have two count. Our bigger group is four strawberries, we have to multiply four strawberries by one, two, three, four groups of strawberries. We're going to score 16 points for strawberries. Then we have to check for bananas. We have just one group, size one, and so it's one per one, one. So 16 of strawberries, one for bananas, and we have to check also for grapes. We have the bigger group of grapes is two, and we have three groups is a six. So we have to add six, one and 16. That's going to be our final score. And to that score, you have to discount two points for every mouse in your market stand. Uh, take, take a look closely because uh, some of the mice spaces have more than one mouse, okay? Here one, two, three, four, so four per two is eight points. We have to discount eight points to our maximum. And all players will check for that. That player will check for strawberries and grapes and bananas and same here. So at the end, the player with the highest score will be the one who, have, uh, who has the preacher stand and will be the winner of the game. There are also a couple of variants in this game uh, if you're playing just two players, you have to check for the two bigger groups of each player, not just the bigger one. And if you're player four, you can uh, make teams and play two versus two and add the scores of both players against the score of the other two players to check the final score. And that's it. That's Beggy's. Uh, a nice game about uh, selecting and constructing. Uh, that will be impossible to play just one game. So we hope you enjoy the game and remember to keep playing. Bye.